Hey everybody, I sound so down, but actually, I'm feeling nauseous. Every time I start TTC, um, I don't know if it's psychological, but for me having two miscarriages, um, when I was pregnant in September of 2011, um, every time our flow was about to arrive, I got real sick. I mean, like, so I was actually pregnant the last time, and um, it's something about my throat area. It it gives me this feeling like a uh, glob of hair in my throat. I feel like food is up to my tongue almost. It's just, it's a certain feeling that I have when I know I'm pregnant. So I knew I was pregnant in September because I kept getting sick, and I'm like, no, nah, maybe I'm not. You know, I wasn't TTC, and I mean, of course, I wanted to get pregnant, but I wasn't so detailed with it. I wasn't chart. I mean, I wasn't really charting. I wasn't doing no OPK strips, none of that stuff. I just ended up getting pregnant, and um, I just so happened took a test, and it was positive, and another one was positive, and another one, another one, but the blood wasn't positive. So my doctor said that the sperm and the egg probably most likely connected and just miscarried like early on. So, but I, I can tell that I was pregnant because of something about my throat. It's something like my throat is like, okay, maybe it feels like acid reflux, I guess. I don't know what it is, but I knew it. So. Every month now, since then, it's like, well, not every month, a lot of the months, I will be um, about to meet up with our flow again, and I can, and I have this sick feeling, so, I'm, I just got finished ovulating, <laughs> I know I ovulated, I can just tell, I know my body so well, and I chart, I understand my chart, and I know I ovulated yesterday or today. But I feel like um, so nauseous. So I'm thinking that the hormones from ovulation is a uh, play a major factor in me feeling the way I feel right now. And I know this is so trifling and lazy for me to be laying down <laughs> blogging, <laughs> but I don't feel like sitting up. I'm tired. Yes, I'm, and yes, I'm a black girl that does not tie her hair up. I just lay on it. <laughs> but uh I don't know. So um I'm just gonna uh, I just took another P uh, another uh, OPK OPK uh test because that OPK stuff got me confused. The other day I saw it got got darker, then my temperature spiked up and then now my temperature I mean like the strips are starting to all look the same, I'm getting confused and this is just crazy. I mean, just, I mean, wow, this is just a lot. It's interesting, but it's really, like, crazy. And I'm running my mouth to him all day. Guess what today? The strip was this color. I'm telling him all about it, but I'm just happy that he's all, like, interested in it. Like, okay, okay. So, um, I did just take a, a, a do an OPK, and from the looks of it, it don't look as dark as it did this morning. And I took it because another girl on here was saying she took it different times of the day. So I said, well, man, let me try it. So I tried it, and maybe I ovulated. For ovulation, my, my little egg is already done what it's going to do, and it's on its way out or on its way to a baby. I don't know. We'll see. Because my temperature is back low, so who knows what happens. So... I don't know. I guess uh, hopefully I'll feel better in the next couple of days. Um, or hopefully I'll have a baby. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, I'm about to get off here. I'm, I'm going to lay down and chill out. I've been trying to drink some kind of burners. I feel like it's all in here. It's just not right. So I'm going to um, try to do something about it. Um, but good night, everybody. Bye. And good luck once again, ladies.